All right, everyone, it's Joshua Paul Bernard here with another Tabula example. This is how to code custom regions. In order to code custom regions, we have to actually code the region information into our data. So, for example, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add continental and region data to about every country in a data set about GDP per PPP. You can download the data from gapminder.org. Uh, it's free and available to you. Um, I have it also hosted because they do change. So you can just download mine, use that. And I have already made the uh, list of continents and regions that we'll be using. So you can just copy that over instead of doing it manually like I did. Almost 200 uh, data entries there. So let's, uh, let's move on. So just download the uh, data set. Uh, you can find the link below. As you see, I've already done so. So I'll be connecting that data to my Excel I'll be making a new uh, Excel work, uh, opening, opening this in Excel. And then I will find the Countries and Territories uh, tab at the very bottom. And you want to right-click it. And you want to choose Copy or Move. Click Create a Copy. And then click New Book. And now if you look up here, you see it says Book 1. So this is actually a whole new book. It looks exactly the same, but don't be fooled. So now go ahead and save this. And we are going to save it as, as a CSV, MS-DOS format, and as custom, tabula, custom regions tabula example.csv. And uh, I already got one there. I'll just replace it. And now go ahead and close the original Excel workbook so you don't get confused. And now we will <clears throat> want to open up our list of every other country with continent and region information. We will copy this information. So just highlight all three uh, columns A, B, and C. Then go back to our customs region tabula example workbook and highlight columns A through D and just right click and paste. And you see indicator still there. We can just delete indicator. And there we go. We have now manually coded our data. Now, I had to go in and manually code, you know, Asia for Afghanistan and Central Asia and Europe and Balkans for every single country. So this took me a lot of time. And if you're going to make your own custom regions, it's going to take you a lot of time as well. But uh, this example, I've already done it for us. So now we can just save and close Excel and go on over to tabula prep and connect prep to our CSV file. And now we'll make the first line, we'll select the option for first line contains header. Now the reason we have to pivot our data is because it's currently stored in a format we call long or horizontal, where the variables are the years and then under each year, it says the amount of GDP. But we need this to be formatted long or vertically for Tabula to understand it. So we need each column to mean country, um, amount of money, the year, etc. So this is what we are doing now. So now create a pivot step. And here on the left side, you're going to select every single column except for continent, country, and region. You're going to highlight them and you're going to drag them over to pivoted fields. And now we're going to create a clean step. And here we are going to rename pivot one names to year. We are going to rename pivot one values to GDP PPP per capita parentheses dollar sign. And we are going to get rid of all entries with without a country. So right click on null country and select exclude. Now we can go on over to our output step. 
and we will choose the uh, folder in which our project is located in. Call it a custom tabula example. We'll select .hyper because hyper is the new file format for tabula. It's much faster and uh, more compact. The larger your data is, the more this will matter. And at this point, just uh, give it a save. And just call it uh, custom regions example. And run the flow. I already have one there, so I'll replace it. This is a rather large data set, so it took a little bit of time, only seven seconds, though. So still not too bad on my laptop. And there we go. If you could now go back, well, now we can't go back to Excel, but now we can look here in the output view, and we can see every single year corresponds to an amount of GDP per capita, the country the region in which that country is in, and the, cent and the continent. So we scroll down here. You see uh, Angola is in Africa. And what part of Africa? Central Africa. So now we're going to use this data set in our next two examples. And I hope that uh, you have learned a lot. Um, thank you very much for joining me today. And have a great day. Bye-bye.